Welcome to the Na Viking tutorials. I'm Johannes Gudmundsson, founder of Anecta, a Microsoft Dynamics NAV Gold certified partner. Hello and welcome to the Coffee Mug tutorials. Um, we're continuing on analysis views and um, in the previous video I actually went here into analysis and analysis views and we created um, a new analysis view called Coffee Mug 2. And if I go into that one here, uh, we're basically taking a look at two uh, dimensions. So I show us lines, I actually will pick here a sales channel and show us columns we had a business group. And then when I show the matrix, we can see the uh, split between uh, the sales channel and the business group. I'm probably looking at a segment that doesn't have anything. Oh, actually, I need to filter on the appropriate account, which was the um, sales retail. And now if I show the matrix, I can see some numbers. So uh, what we want to get into now is budgets. Uh, how do we actually have budgets work with this? Um, and my analysis view I've set up so that it includes budgets. And if I go here into actual amounts um, and click budgeted amounts and hit show matrix, you can see that I get budgeted amounts for total amount on these here but not across. So I had actually budgeted in a previous video these um, for a period, but not with two dimensions. So how do we budget two dimensions at the same time? So I'm gonna go into that. So if we actually come out of this, go out of here and go into budgets, I'm gonna create a new budget I'm going to call it uh, Coffee Mug Dimension 2. So 2018 Budget Coffee Mug Dimension 2. So two dimensions. And here it asks me, okay, so which dimensions do you want in here? Uh, I'm going to pick the sales channel, obviously. That's the one we've been working with a lot. And then the uh, business group. So let me just make sure this is right. Yeah. All right, so now I'm budgeting two dimensions. So obviously, I budget the chart of accounts, but I'm budgeting the chart of accounts with dimensions. And which dimensions I'm actually budgeting, uh, I will have to specify here on the line. And I have four. So if I go into edit budget, edit budget, um, I get my first dimension here as lines, which is sales channel. Uh, but then I have periods out, just like I was uh, budgeting one dimension. And if I would put in budget amounts here, um, it would not be labeled with the uh, business group dimension. But I want to be able to label both. So how do we actually set that up? Um, I'm going to show us lines, um, the uh, sales channel. And show us columns, I'm going to show business group, like so. Now I have two dimensions here, and this is like the cross section, or like a matrix of two dimensions. Uh, but then the question is, what period is this? And which account? Now if I go down here, I can see that the account filter is already set up. So that means that I am budgeting this particular zero account, 44050. So all the transactions I'm putting in here are for that jail account. And the period that I'm, that I'm budgeting is this period here, which is the first quarter of 2018. And yeah, obviously that's set up here by quarter. I can move to next period by just going like this or previous. You can see it changed down here, next period, previous period etc. And I can of course, I could export this to Excel and import it back and that might be a subject of another video. But for now I'm just going to put in some numbers. So I put uh, 50,000 here, 
25,000. Uh, 10,000. Actually, Intercopy will leave that. 10,000. Uh, 30,000. Uh, 10,000. And we'll put 15,000 here. All right, so now I've budgeted some of the factors. Um, and if I close this out now, and I go out of here, and I go back into my role center and analysis views, I go into my coffee mug 2, hit edit analysis view. I can select the budget filter that I want. So I'm going to select that as the new budget that I created. Um, and as lines, I'm going to show the sales channel. And as columns, I'm going to show the business group. And if I just hit, um, actually, let's show this by quarter. And let's start it the first quarter of 2018. So I would like that. And we hit show matrix. Actually, I might have to go in here and hit update. Uh, so that we have everything in here. And then we go edit and show matrix. Budget filter, everything looks good. And now it comes in. All right. So I had to update the analysis view first. Uh, it's very easy to forget that. <laughs> but um, now we have the budgeted amounts that I entered in for um, the period. And I can go ahead and change this to show actual amounts. So I have that. I have nothing for the actual amounts for this period. Uh, and you could see variance, etc. So this is how you actually put in the budget amounts for analysis views. And again, it, it is interesting to be able to see it as a matrix, like we just looked at it right now. Um, but so if I show this, but the, uh, the more important fact is that it generates uh, the budget in a matrix format that it can be used uh, in account schedules and charts and KPIs and all of that. So it's not just uh, limited to this particular uh, view set. So I hope you learned something uh, regarding budgets and analysis views. Uh, thanks for watching. Until next time. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. As always, we welcome any questions or suggestions, um, so leave comments, or of course, if you can subscribe, that would be awesome. Uh, we are trying to build our fan base over here at Anacta, and uh, if you want to look for further information, please go to anacta.com.